Ford Corporate authorized the repair. Uh, they're going to replace all the lifters and cams in the engine. And that was the word on Friday. The following Monday, they said they were not going to repair the vehicle. The vehicle is normal and to give it back to the customer. What's happening everybody? Street here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Stang Stories. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Update number four, if you will. Um, you know, it's funny. Update number three was my previous video, and that was a video that I told you guys that Ford Corporate authorized the repair. Uh, they're going to replace all the lifters and cams in the engine, and um, they basically isolated it. It sounds like what the technician is saying to my dealership is that they isolated it to one of the lifters, um, but basically they're going to just be precautionary and replace all the lifters and the cams. Um, and that was the word on Friday. The following Monday, they said they were not going to repair the vehicle. The vehicle is normal and to give it back to the customer. <laughs> and I was pissed. I'll be honest. I was fucking pissed. And my technician, the lead technician that's been working on my car, um, once again, argued and fought with Ford corporate and said, no, this isn't right. Something's wrong with this car. We need to get it fixed. And basically, Ford corporate's response to the situation was, um, we're going to send a field investigator out there to assess the car ourselves because this is bullshit, I guess. You know, it's like once once you send a, a field investigator out, there's, uh, there's some distrust going on and they really don't want to repair the vehicle and they want to know. So um, the field investigator came out, spent a very short while with my car and uh, immediately authorized the repair. So what they're calling it now is the cam phasers. I've heard a lot of you guys talk about that before. I'm assuming the cam phaser is like the whole cam assembly. Um, and they said they're still replacing the lifters. So sounds like maybe the same thing. All the lifters and cams will be replaced. Uh, but in addition to the cams, the whole mechanism, uh, the whole rotating mechanism, the chains, the pulleys, the gears, I guess, like... I don't know. They're going to replace all of it. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I guess this is kind of their way of just, you know, trying to get to the get to the fix. Um, I'm, I, I'm glad I don't need a, a new motor. It almost feels like they're doing everything but replacing the motor um, because, I mean, I know there's a lot of other little tidbits inside there, but it just seems like a lot of work. But I guess ultimately it's going to save them money. So hopefully that fixes it. I've heard a lot of you guys talk about the cam phasers. Um, and uh, not you, you know you hear about these ticks and then you hear about people repairing them. And then you don't hear any updates after that. That's why I, I've been so aggressively trying to give all you guys updates. It's like I posted my, my problem and you guys came in by the hundreds of just like, oh, there's probably two. Maybe not hundreds. Maybe I'm exaggerating. But... Um, you know, I, we've gotten a lot of attention on these, uh, these videos and, um, all, not all good and not all, you know, negative, but got a lot of attention and, and I'm just trying to keep everybody in the loop because, you know, this is, this is a fucking car I just bought and I'm having all these issues with it. And I know a lot of you guys are too. Um, so I'm just trying to be proactive and get the information out there. So we're still on. Uh, I just got off the phone with them, and they said that they are they have all the parts except for one piece. And Ford Corporate says it's not going to be here for another week. So my dealership right now is trying to um, just expedite it, basically trying to get them to overnight the part and get it here as soon as possible. Like my dealership said, he's like, dude, I've had this bay locked down for your car for two weeks, and we're looking at another week. Yeah, and we're there. It's an expensive, uh, or not an expensive. It's a, um, it's a busy service shop. So, I get it, man. We both, we both want the car fixed. <laughs> me most, um, but they are right there with me. They don't want to just have this bay just dead, you know, because they're waiting on parts. So anyway, um, that's the update. I'm, I'm, I think my tech probably deserves a case of beer. Uh, I think I'm going to have to buy him a case of beer because I feel like he's just going out on a limb for me constantly here. And uh, he really wants to see the car fixed. So 
probably going to attempt to do that. Hopefully, uh, the dealership doesn't get mad. I think I'm going to ask the service manager before um, I buy him anything. But I, I would like to tip him with a case of beer or something. So hopefully, he'll accept that. Uh, otherwise, that's about it, man. Uh, the next update, I guess, will be, you know, when we hear something new um, that's, like, important or um, or when we get the car back and after we hear what happened during the testing phase and or if I got the car back and everything's good because I don't want to overwhelm you guys with updates, but I felt like this one was important enough um, to talk about and um, to give you guys updates on, so... That's that, I guess. And uh, thank you so much, everybody, for you know coming by, commenting, sharing your stories, and and uh, helping fill people in on you know. There's a lot of people that are just kind of hovering or or loitering around the comments, um, looking for information and stuff. So there's been myself and others actually that are just feeding information. They're updating their own stories on um, on my comment section in some of the videos. So just. You know, read through them if you need more information, and I'll keep the info coming as I get it. And uh, it looks like the other people are as well. So, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell because subscribing just isn't enough anymore. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, SilverStaying707. And uh, as soon as we get the damn car back, I'll be posting more content. I've, I've been posting some CSRT uh, racing stuff, but... You know, it's like the, the channel is supposed to be dedicated to the staying, and I don't have the staying. So, <laughs> the, co the, po the, the content has died off a little bit. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to keep rambling if I keep talking. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.